Ready, ready. Round one of the playoffs start now. Eastern Elks versus Western Wolves. 2-2 two, two count. Strike three. Cooper goes down swinging. Harry Leventhal is next up. <laughs> Harry Leventhal steps in. <laughs> Holy Takes shit. Takes off the pads. <laughs> Hit some in the pads. That is a runner on first. The one count. The one out count. Ooh, and he gets hit again. The children press the ball. <laughs> is that an 0-2 count for Harry? Oh my god, that is strike three. Oh, crush it. And he gets hit on the first pitch. Base is loaded. Hits him, a run comes in. Is now 1-0, Western Wolves. Is now a full count, bases loaded, two outs for Cooper Card. Oh! I get drilled in the, drilled in the nip. A run comes in. The 0-2 for Harry Leventhal. Strike three. The Wolves get out of the half inning with a 2 nothing lead. Eastern Elks step up to the plate and see what they can do. The 3-1. Hitters count. Walks him. The 3 1 count. That's a walk. The 3 0 -oh count. Ball four. Loads the bases. Full count. Walks in a run. Now is still bases loaded. No outs for Will Vermette. Hits that one. Cooper makes the good play. A double play from Coop. Oh, ah! A double play from Coop. Holy. Playoff Coop is a different breed. Gets the double play there, saves a run. Full count for Luke. Cooper sits him down. The Wolves get out of the first inning with a two to one lead. Full count for Cooper. Does not offer, it's strike three. It's a 2 2 count for Harry Leventhal. Swing and the miss, that is a second out. The 2 2. Rub a dub dub. Oh, he gets the screw ball. Cooper gets a single. Not a boy, Coop. Yeah, that Harry with the fresh count. Oh, Frank to the wolf. <laughs> the 1 1. Is that straight three? Yep. My bad, I wasn't paying attention because my hand was being gyrated by Case Rivera. Anyways, that was strike three. <laughs> yeah, it hit the back leg. The 3 1 count. The 1 0. I meant 1 2 count. No, it hit his hat. No, you can hear no. it. Nick, Nick, you can hear it. <laughs> no, it did. No, it did. You can hear it. The 1 0 count for Brady like, Summers. I like, like this thing like a cicada. That's it. Oh! Oh! Oh no. He's out. No, he's out. The ball was bouncing at home and it rolled into play. Harry tagged home and threw the ball at Brady and got a double play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is strike three. Full count. That's now a full count. <laughs> Strike three. You know, Cooper just got thrown a chair there, if I'm being honest. That was Harry. Two, two. Strike three. The Elks get out of the inning. It is bottom three. If the Wolves can get three outs here, they will win a playoff game. It is 2-1.
The Wolves are in the lead, have the advantage. The Elks are looking to strike. Good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Goodbye. And Will pipes that on the first pitch. It is now a tie game. I was looking to play the 1980s baseball team. Love you. Will you rub your your person? For these summers, can he do something? He'll get on base, that's what I'll do. What take the base? 1 0 for Will for Matt. Oh! Cooper sails it! Brady's going three. Oh my god. Cooper. 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 <laughs> and Cooper pulls a Mason Lopes. And Cooper Lopes. holds it. Cooper. It is. Cooper pulls Mason Lopes. <laughs> <laughs> it is second and third. <laughs> it is second and third with no outs. The Elks are in striking distance of the win. Well, not that bad. They just he won one. Pegs them. Is now bases loaded. No outs. Tied up two two. They need to draw a walk, hit by pitch, or single to get the win. One one. Okay. 0-2 count for Will. It's a single. Cooper cannot make the play. The Elks walk it off. Will gets the walk-off ribby. Brady gets the walk-off run. You know, that was honestly a pretty good game of whiff from both teams. Excited to see what happens in game two. Final score, three to two. Hey, baby, here we go, baby. <laughs> hey, next season, Wolves will be better. Hits the fence. Brady's pushing for two. Oh my god. <laughs> Cooper, just hold it, please, Cooper. Harry sells the bag. Harry sells it, chucks the ball away. Brady got a double. The 0 1 count. He's out at third. Cooper makes a smart play. Oh, and Cooper with the elite double play. You know, that was honestly a pretty smart move going to third. And then Will thought he could be slick going for second. But Cooper has eyes on the back of his head and makes the play. Harry says he's tired, but he's putting in that work in left field. 2-2 two -two count. Cooper card, can he deal? Fuck out of here, ball. You know, if Harry was playing in the right position, he could have made that catch, but instead... Oh my god. Holy crap. I mean, I think that's about the longest single we've ever had. Hit the fence. The 1-0. Hit back. He's now 3-1 for Saunders. Oh, rocketed up the middle. Will's going home. Out at first. Yeah. Yeah, he was safe before the out happened, so. All right, the Wolves only surrender one. Cooper! Hits the rocks with that one. Oh my God, Cooper ties it up with the, I believe, second pitch he saw. Cooper's playing with anger today. He, he got all of that one. Uh, hits him. Oh, on. <laughs> that was about four. Harry Leventhal up to that. Hits the first pitch. He sees Will cannot make a play. Cooper! Three one. Will Vermette throws it. Cooper card does not swing. Is now bases loaded with one out. Is now bases loaded with one out for Harry. Oh, a rip! Oh, it's in the woods. Harry's going two. It is now that is two runs. It is now three to one. Western Wolves. Harry with a big hit, big double. Is now runners on second and third with a still only one out. Three to one.
Wolves! No one. And he gets pegged. Loads the bases. 0-2 oh, for Leventhal. Ooh, a good hack at a high pitch. It's now 0-2 oh, for Cooper. Base is loaded. Two outs. Let's see what he can do. Oh, Will Vermette throws him a chair. That was a good pitch. But Cooper drove a big inning. Love to see it. Oh. No. Er, uh, well. Yeah, that's a double. <laughs> the 2-2 two -two for Brady Summers. Swing and the miss. Brady, you suck now. Cooper is dealing. Out of here. Strike two by the way. <laughs> the 3-0. Bear. Perry! Perry, I advise to just hold it. That was smart. Was it just a runner on second? The 1 0. Get him out, get him out! Right back to Cooper. Gets the out. Oh, He's going home! home. That's a tie game. Ooh, yeah. And Cooper Carr walks Brady Summers. Swings. Can Harry get the play and the inning? And he does. He is out at two. Harry puts away the side. The 1-0. I mean. No, the 0-1 for Leventhal. Ripped. Fair ball down third baseline. Harry will be safe at first. Round Brady two. whips it. And Bad play. Harry Can Harry's going Harry three? Go. No. Harry. Oh. Harry. Harry. Yeah. Yeah. That is Harry Leventhal, second inside of the Parker of the season, third of the Wolves. Harry is on one right now, 4-3 Wolves. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw it, but Harry Leventhal, Harry Leventhal with the Rolex. What does he do, baby? Wait, it's going. <laughs> Well, there has been some reju rejuvenation in the Wolves locker room after that one. Harry puts that one in play. Will bobbles it. Harry gets a single. No Cooper card with the one-two. Ooh, Will sits him down. Good pitch. Cooper had a good swing, just missed slightly. The 0-2 count for Leventhal. Ooh, strike three. 2 2 count for Cooper Card. Wilvermet delivers. Strike three. The Elks surrender two. The Wolves stop it here. They win a playoff game. Full count for Wilvermet. Walks him. Walks him after an intense at bat. One oh. Okay. Holy crap. That is the I have to say that's the farthest in-game dinger we have had in league history. That one was well past the rocks. I don't think that quite beats his home run derby record. But that ties the game 5-5. Five five. That was a freaking nuke. Oh, Harry almost makes a great catch. <laughs> Harry, Harry missed the ball. It was almost slipped. It was almost bad. Full count. 
Brady Summers swings and misses. That is one out for the Wolf. The one two count for Will. Cooper deals. Sits him down. That is a big K from Cooper Card. They're down six to five going into the bottom of the third. They need one to tie, two to win. It all comes down to this final half inning. He's now 3 1. Hits him. Oh, Harry swings at a ball way outside. That's one out. The 2 2 count for Cooper. Will, the pitch. Don't gets through for a single. Let's go! Oh, barely staying alive on that one. Now we have runners on first and second for Harry Leventhal with still only one out. The wind is picking up here. You should have a good ending. The one-two count for Harry. Ooh, strike three. Comes down to this, folks. I know you like that. That felt good on your bike. First and second for Cooper Card with two outs. Can Koopy come up clutch? Comes down to this, folks. Two outs, full count. Look, Runners on first look. and second for Cooper card. Wolvermet with the pitch. Ball four. Let's go. The season stays alive. The season stays alive. Loads the bases. Say it. Say it. Just loads say it. the bases, and the season stays alive, folks. Harry Leventhal could tie the game with a base hit, a walk, or anything lucky like that. Right here. A walk is as good as a hit, folks. Wise words from the man himself, Harry Leventhal, as he steps up to the plate. Is a two and the two count. The season stays alive. Harry, in the nick of time, decides to not swing, saves himself. The two-two. Oh! And that is all. Well, they did it. God, I, that's the best game of wiffle ball I've seen the Wolves play all season. It's a shame. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame they couldn't get it done. Post-game interviews coming up. I am here with the Western Wolves after what is probably the best series they have ever played. Um, you know, they fought hard in both games, losing by one in both games. You know, there was a great pitching, great pitching from both sides. We'll start off with Harry. Um, we were dealing with uh, a lot of tiredness as i said earlier you had nine inning uh nine hours total of football over the past two days you definitely sore you're definitely feeling it um but you fought through it you had that inside the parker you pitched well in the first game you know it's a shame you guys lost but how does it feel to keep fighting and sh show the viewers that the wolves are not a poverty franchise i mean you still lost so <laughs> not very great <laughs> That's a good point. But, you know, I did not play as good as I should have on the last inning of the last game. I got out all three times, I think, and that cost us the game. It's all right. Happens to the best of us. And now, and now I'm here with Cooper Card. You know, he pitched great that second game uh, and hit great as well. He had a homer. He might have had a second one. I'm not sure, but you know, you came up clutch on the bats and you pitched good too. I mean. You, yeah. re you really played like a captain out there today. And yeah, I think I got my pitching down a bit more than usual, especially in the, that second game. I was throwing a lot of strikes, especially to Brady, for some reason, but not to Will. <laughs> and I feel like in the last inning, instead of getting some walks, I probably should have tried to go for more hits. And, and maybe if we did that, we would have won. Yeah, I have another statement you'd yeah. like to make. <laughs> Harry has another statement he'd like to make. I feel like... We'll be the Cleveland Browns, you know? We're not very good this year. Some one win, whatever. And we're we're going to pick up a few pieces next year. We're, we'll be middle of the road. All right, so I was just going to say any any words for Wolves fans to what to look for next season? I'd say uh, middle of the road. Middle of the yeah. road? I mean, I'd say. that's way better than the Poverty franchise this year. Mm -hmm. Now, you, Cooper, any official statements as the captain? I mean, you have the draft coming up. You already secured the number one pick. There was, this would have been bonus if you won this series. Okay. But you, you secured the number one pick, and there's a lot of good free agents out there. You looking to looking to make any moves? Harry said you I'm are, but what about you? A, I'm looking to make a few. I'm trying to get a few players. Hopefully, try and get this team out of like the dumps where we are right now. 
All right, love to hear it. Your Western Wolves, they just played a heck of a series against the Elks. Best one of the season, best one of the franchise. They got a lot coming next year. Love to see it. And I am here with the Eastern Elks. They clinched a spot in the World Series for the second year in a row. Now, the difference between this year and last year, no matter what they have, home field advantage, because they got the one seed this year. And I will start it off with Will. You were pretty great on the bats today. Um, you love to see that. But, you know, you did give the fans a scare with that pitching in game two. Now, Will, tell us what's it going to take to get back on track, back to that Cy Young uh, tier pitching that you usually brought this season. What's it going to get to take to get back to that before the World Series? I think I need, I need to figure out how to shake those bad first innings. It's the World Series. I need to get focused. And yes, remember, you guys have to win three games instead of two in that World Series. That's the five. And I'm with uh, Brady Summers now, the captain. Now, Brady, you didn't pitch at all, but you definitely hit well. And when you hit the ball, you hit it far with that, I'd have to say, record distance home run. Uh, not as far as the one he hit in the home run derby, but farthest in-game dinger, I'd have to say. Brady, tell me, what was going through your mind and coursing through your veins as you hit that out of the park? Um, you know, it was a really clutch moment. You know, when I first hit it, I was looking around because I didn't even see it. It went so high. But, yeah, that home run was cool and all. But all props to Will, locking it down. Well, not locking it down, but doing, doing what he needed to do out there on the mound today. And, once again, all props to the Wolves. The, these guys come to play in playoffs. I'm going to say my two favorite series I've been a part of are the two series we've played them in playoffs. They always come to play. Cooper is always coming to play in playoffs. So kudos to Wolves, and that's all I got to say. I'm looking forward to the World Series, and yeah, just kudos to Wolves. What a series.